Is Bubble powerful enough for your app? If you're currently researching which no-code platform to use for an app idea you have, you may have wondered this. After all, not every no-code platform can sustain serious growth from production-grade apps. So is it enough for what you need? This video is here to help answer that question. First off, let's go through an app one of our own entrepreneurs built, which is fully live as a paid subscription product with live users enjoying it today. And yes, this was built on Bubble. This application is a financial planning tool. Not only does it help users track their transactions and create budgets, but it also helps them come up with a plan so that they can stay on top of their overall financial health and goals. This app has been designed to keep it easy for the user, but behind the scenes, there's a lot of sophisticated logic to make this run smoothly and reliably for the users. One of the core components of this app is an integration with Plaid. That way users can connect safely to their bank accounts to pull in all of their transaction and account balance details. With this data, the application can then visualize important insights, spending trends, so that the user can see where they're at in their financial goals. The real-time connection to users' accounts allows the application to create in-the-moment tracking and recommendation features around their goals and budgets. Building this app on Bubble allow the entrepreneur to take full control over all the functionality behind the scenes so it can create real value for its users. With that example in mind, let's talk Bubble specifics so you can get a better idea of whether the platform is right for your particular app. First off, Bubble is a full stack platform where you can build a highly interactive data-driven application without any code. Everything you need to create a real scalable application falls under one roof your database architecture, your front end designs, and all of the logic in between to make things come to life. Not only is it powerful, but it's wildly convenient for managing a full app from beginning to end. Let's talk data management. This is actually one of Bubble's core components because most Bubble apps are data driven. They're very dependent on custom structures behind the scenes and dependent on a platform that can support heavy operations. And there's a few highlights to mention here. First, you don't have any limits to the number of records you can add to your app's database once you are on a paid plan. So unlike other systems like Airtable or Glide, once you're on a paid plan, you can create as many entries as you'd like. There is a 200 record limit on the free plan, but that should be plenty for you to get to know the platform and work with a handful of test records. The next thing is you have complete control over the structure of your database. So it's up to you to create the different tables, the fields, the relationships between your records. You're not boxed into any kind of template whatsoever. This custom structure gives you a lot of flexibility in how your data is organized and really how your app functions. Not only that, but it also gives you the ability to create granular permissions for your users to view or edit different records based on their relationship with that data. And with custom structures, you have the ability to create really powerful custom search. So whether you're building a marketplace or an important business dashboard utility, you have the ability to aggregate on that data, calculate that data, manipulate that data, and present it back to your user in a way that's gonna be useful for them. Bubble supports a wide variety of sophisticated data manipulations that you can custom configure for your own app's needs. For example, you can run all sorts of calculations on numbers and dates. You can create things on a loop. So if you need data to be modified or created in a specific sequence, you can absolutely set things up to do that. You can wait for changes to happen in your database before you carry out other actions. You can communicate with the outside world, pull data in from an external source, send data out to another source. You can schedule changes in your database to happen at a specific date and time. And of course, you can run bulk operations to modify a lot of records all at once. Also, real quick before we head any further, I want you to bookmark this page for after this video, coachingnocodeapps.com slash bubble hyphen guide. We've put together a pretty exhaustive video and written guide to help answer all of your bubble related questions. So head there after this video. I think it'll be really helpful as you move forward from here. All right, now what about interactions in your bubble application? You know, your users are going to engage with your designs. They may trigger logic that you've set up behind the scenes to make changes to the database, maybe make some visual changes on the screen that they're looking at. How far can you really go with these? Well, there's really two parts to this. There's the design component, and then there's also the workflow component. So the design is everything that the user's looking at. The layouts of your pages, uh, the responsiveness across different devices. The workflows are the commands that you're giving Bubble to carry out different actions. So again, making a change to a database record uh, or telling Bubble when to show a message for the user when they've completed an important action. 
So the combination of all these things is what really makes the app interactive and really brings it to life. And it is up to you to combine all of these different components in a custom way, right? You are in control of what happens when and how everything looks. And there's a vast number of visual elements that you can add to your design, plus a vast number of workflow triggers and actions that you can put together in your own way. And this is just the baseline. So what more can you do beyond this here? So I wanna talk about Bubble's extensibility. So you have the ability to, number one, install plugins to your application from Bubble's vast plugin marketplace. Number two, you can integrate with APIs in a custom way. And these things really open more doors to supercharge automations and integrations with tools you may be using as well that you want your application to communicate with. This is very powerful uh, way of bringing an app to life and really customizing it further. So with API connections, you can bring in extra data sources. So for example, pull in accounting information from your QuickBooks or your Xero account. You can send information out or carry out other actions outside of the app, such as you know, creating a shipping label uh, in Shippo, right? So you send out address information, carrier information, and that service can create the label, and you can stay connected to keep track of the status updates. Plugins, on the other hand, um, actually can add a lot more capabilities to your application. So they can also provide additional data sources. They can add more visual elements um, that you can add to your design. They can add more workflow options that you can take advantage of. And again, it's up to you to get creative to put all of these things together in a custom way. But with Bubble's level of extensibility, you have so many options to create a you know, fine-tuned, sophisticated application that is highly unique to the problems that you're solving. So here are some examples of things that you can do with these extra capabilities. Number one, AI. If you integrate with something like ChatGPT, you can create really personalized content for your users based on data that you're feeding it or that your users are feeding it themselves. Number two, you can work with transactions. So you can take in payments from your users, whether it's a one-time payment or a subscription, um, or you can have users pay each other in a marketplace type of environment. So all you need to do is integrate with the payment gateway to actually process those transactions, but everything can be hosted by your app. Very powerful if you're looking to um, create a source of revenue here. You can also create drag and drop interfaces for your users to create even more interactivity in those front end designs. You can uh, communicate with an email marketing system to send out broadcast campaigns or even just regular transaction emails in bulk. And, and this is all really just tip of the iceberg. It's just up to your imagination in terms of what you want your application to communicate with and how you want things carried out in the design and in the logic behind the scenes. Now we can't forget that if you're looking to build a powerful application, you need a platform that can give you powerful development support and infrastructure. Bubble isn't just a fancy spreadsheet. You have all the tools you need to create custom security rules, tools to collaborate with other developers. You can set up single sign-on for organizations that expect it from the tools that they use. You can configure SEO settings for any of your public pages that you need to be found in search engines. You have access to extensive version control and branching so that if you need to create separate environments of your application or go back in time to restore previous builds or even previous data sets, you can. You have a way to organize styles so that your appearance properties across your entire application is incredibly consistent. You have several troubleshooting tools to help you debug your application if you encounter an issue. You have multiple ways of monitoring your app's performance so that you can track your workload consumption and see detailed activity within server logs. You can identify areas that are heavier in your application to give you opportunities to optimize things further. You can, of course, connect your application to a custom domain and further white label your application, and so much more. At the end of the day, Bubble is a tool, and it's up to you to leverage it for your specific needs. But it's a powerful tool that is ready to support powerful apps. All right, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, the content you're about to see on the next screen will help you take things even further.